Hello, everyone. Hi. We're here with CJ Harvey. Thank you for being here. CJ is one of my favorite music photographers. She's in Seattle touring with Ron Gallo and the Black Angels. I have a show at the Showbox tonight, and CJ stopped by here to hang out with us. So, have a few questions for you. Sure. Um, so, first of all, what were the biggest steps in establishing yourself as an artist? It's funny doing this part after we just did the rapid fire thing because I, mm -hmm. I just want to like make a loud yes. noise. I'm like, yes. <laughs> um, so establishing myself as an artist or touring photographer. Um, I don't know. I um, I went to school for a year at Syracuse mm -hmm. in upstate New York, and I just hated it. Like. I was studying architecture, I hated architecture, I hated being in upstate New York, I hated the people, I hated the whole campus, like it was just not fun for me at all. It was just so creatively draining. Mm -hmm. And um, I kind of made the decision to try and transfer schools and go somewhere where I could study either video or photo mm -hmm. and just be in a bigger city where there's like actual shows happening and there's, you know, anything right <laughs> like that's, that's not just the icy tundra of mm -hmm. Syracuse and um, so I ended up transferring to Parsons in Manhattan and I was there for a semester and I was just shooting like so many shows and I was trying to shoot you know a show a night if I could because there's so yeah. much stuff happening there that mm -hmm. you can do something like that right um, and it was just getting kind of hard with school and just balancing all that and I was working full-time at Trader Joe's and just couldn't really balance everything and I kind of looked at all the stuff that I was doing and I was like the only thing out of all of this that I actually care about doing is photography and shooting shows and working with bands and um, I decided that I was just gonna drop out and make that a priority and so I think just by doing that and like being really uh, motivated and very persistent with it I just kind of I don't know. I just, I just did it so much and I was like, this is the only thing that I want to mm -hmm. do. And so I'm just going to do this until I don't want to do this anymore. And I still want to do it, so. That's great. Did it, three did it feel like so. a big change or did it just feel like natural? Like it you were already shooting shows so it much. It felt and very natural. Um, it was less stressful because I didn't have to worry about being in school anymore mm -hmm. and being like, oh, I have to do these certain classes right. and do stuff, you know, with these deadlines. Because I was using kind of music photography for my assignments where mm -hmm. I would kind of mold the assignments whenever I could to be like, oh, you need me to shoot like four black and white rolls of film this week, I'll shoot them at a show or sure. I'll take band portraits or something. And so mm -hmm. that was kind of my way of incorporating it. But all of a sudden I didn't have assignments. It was just kind of shoot whoever you want, do whatever you want, mm -hmm. or don't do it, and then you didn't do anything productive. And right. it was like, all of a sudden, very much on me to be in charge of what I was getting done and mm -hmm. who I was reaching out to and, you know, making goals for myself in yeah. that regard. So that was a little bit more stressful. Right. But it was great to not be in school and just kind of mm -hmm. have my only anxiety really be coming from, right. like, the goals I was setting for myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's super interesting. Um, do you think that being around different bands and like your relationship with the people in the band, does that affect the way you photograph them? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have gotten a lot pickier, I would say in the last like year, um, with who I tour with and who I'm kind of working closely with, mm. which is definitely a luxury that not a lot of people have and I definitely didn't have when I first started off. Yeah. Um, but because I'm just kind of working with like my closest friends now, like touring's not that stressful anymore and going to shows or being backstage or talking to bands I really like, isn't that stressful? Cause it's just friends mm -hmm. now. Where it's like, you know, they're, su they're super supportive of me and they want me to be there and they want me to be taking pictures and they are my biggest fans and I'm their biggest fan. So it's a very healthy relationship where it's like, they like what I make and so they're just happy that I'm showing interest in them and it's you know it's a great working relationship but when I first started off I would kind of be like I don't know if they want me to take pictures in the green room or I don't know if I'm allowed to be side stage and like 
when bands would tell me that I could kind of shoot from wherever I wanted, I would be like trying not to trip on like wires <laughs> and I'd be like, oh my God, I don't want anyone to see that I'm here. And now I just kind of like be in everyone's faces and just <laughs> like really be annoying about it and right. know that they don't care at all. It's a lot more comfortable. Yeah, like I'll like stand right behind the drums and like shoot with the flash in their face and yeah. they <laughs> definitely don't care at all, <laughs> which is awesome. And it makes it easier to take cool right because <laughs> you're, you're not like hiding from the furthest right. away <laughs> point in the venue and you're like um you can't really see them from here but like they did something cool but i was too scared to go close to them so yeah. i don't know but yeah it's, it's good now <laughs> that's great